well, I guess I'll answer this one, boys. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of a long story, and I do want to go into depth with about it, like at a later date, I think. But um, a lot of people don't know uh, that it's actually about. Um, so, like, <clears throat> sorry, this is going to take me a while. Um, <laughs> So like obviously there's like heaps of talk about mental health and all that kind of thing, which is like super important. But um, Jurassic Park was kind of about a family member of mine um, who was close to my mum, and um, he struggles with mental health. And I kind of wanted to shine a light on people that are close to people that have that suffer from mental health. And I think a lot of that is uh, quite overlooked a lot of the time because you know it does affect them as well because like you know they're part of your family. Um, and I just kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit and it was kind of like paying homage, 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 homage well, to my yeah. mum. Um, and yeah, cause we kind of went through it together, um, with, uh, some family members of ours, uh, multiple times. So, um, yeah, it was kind of referring to a specific instance as well, but, uh, yeah, I won't go into that cause it'll take up the whole video. So <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Johnny knows where this is going. Okay. So yeah, I think I, I saved you. Yeah. I think only Mickey was there at the time, but we were in right. LA and we were recording blurry. <laughs> and and uh, I go to the toilet. This was like halfway through the day and I go to the toilet and I'm like, Oh no. Oh like, my God. I've, I know. <laughs> I've got my period and I'm wearing white pants. How long has this been here? <laughs> Fuck my life. And I'm sitting in the toilet like, shit, shit, shit. I can't go back in there. Like, that's just so embarrassing. What the fuck? And keep in mind, this is like pretty much the first time we've ever met Courtney Ballard, who we're like working with. It was, a, like, it was oh, our first God. day with him. It was our first day. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God. And I'm texting our tour manager and Jono being like, can you please bring me some fucking pants to the studio because I've, I've done a thing. <laughs> And anyway, they brought me back some jeans, which are like the opposite <laughs> color of my pants. Cause at the time I was wearing white pants. And so they bring me these jeans and I just walk straight back into the studio. Like, how are we going boys? And then no one even noticed that I changed my <laughs> pants. And I was kind of offended to be honest. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. It was, it was kind of cute though. I think it was cute though. Cause it was kind of like just us two that day. And then like, it kind of like everyone, like John, no Potter. And then like our tour manager all came and it was like a little like, to a package with like little deliveries. I didn't come. So it's just a beach. Just no, me. it was just me. Oh, it was did just you? Me and oh, Sam. oh no, yeah. I was you like, again. fuck yeah. you. I'm just staying at the beach. I'm <laughs> having a great day. Fuck <laughs> on in a shitty period. <laughs> this is a bit of a sore point. Um, I think like we all had a big argument like everyone was like no she needs one H no it needs two H's it needs three H's and an exclamation mark no it needs four H's and two exclamation marks and it was this like yep. huge argument for ages and I think um I think at the end I think Bonnie and I were like we're gonna do two H's but we'll add an exclamation mark because it gets longer but then like I because Jono wanted three H's and I think technically when you look at right. three H's is correct it is correct. So we were wrong about it, but we added the exclamation mark. No. So it's like the right length. <laughs> Can I just yeah. say, this is the kind of shit we argue about. And this is how stupid <laughs> our band is. Like, this is our life. We argue about how many letters in the, in the name of a song. It's lit. But it's lit. <laughs> no, but what it does say about us is that we're great at conflict resolution. Because from what we, I remember, yeah. there was a whole two H's <laughs> or three H's argument. And then we settled on two H's, but putting an exclamation mark in. That was like so, the, the compromise we could all come to. The conflict resolution rast. of this. <laughs> Anyone out there, if you need the conflict resolution. Apparently you didn't make John O happy, up. so. <laughs> no, because you know but, the thing like as also, well. When we were on tour, we went to like <laughs> venues and stuff. And, and there was a sign that said shush with three H's. And I pointed and I showed to everyone. And I was like, see ya told you this is how it's spelled <laughs> i'm razzed yeah we had an exclamation mark on another song as well like that and then we were like oh no now we've got two exclamation marks so then we had to take an exclamation mark off like that <laughs> um well 
Potter likes to just use the same one. He just thought it was great. And so he's kept it. And he, I think he found it online somewhere. Um, it says your duck cutest and it has a duck on it. Um, me and Mickey like to change it every tour. Um, I just go for the simple meme. It's easy and it looks fucking disgusting. So that is what I like. And Mickey just goes for the most aesthetically pleasing thing, basically. Um, I would say with skinny dipping, we kind of knew what like avenue to kind of stick towards. Whereas with uh, Pink Elephant, we kind of, obviously on purpose, wanted to like branch out and try different things. Um, so I think that was kind of the biggest difference in my opinion. But also in a literal sense, we, um, we wrote and recorded the songs in, in different places. Whereas with Skinny Dipping, we just kind of were in the studio and that was it in the one place. But with Pink Elephant, which kind of reflects the songs as well, like it, with Pink Elephant, it was like all over the place. And then the songs are also like not all the same. Not that Skinny Dipping is all the same, but you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of a more diverse like sound, I guess. Are we, we did, do we? we? No, I thought we did. I thought that there was just no, a New Zealand. we did. I thought New Zealand did. Oh, what? Because, no, New Zealand. Because I'm looking like this up. <laughs> Georgia, did New Zealand make the Pavlova? Yeah. Oh, my Kiwi girlfriend says that yes, they did. I'm, I'm looking that up. <laughs> yeah, so. you would say that. I don't think she's right. Yeah, <laughs> you I, would say I that. I didn't know... I didn't know Australians thought that, that um, kiwi she made She makes it. a good point that it does have kiwi fruit on it. It, it is made <laughs> from New Zealand. Yeah. Why I never knew that on? Australians made it. I thought it was a New Zealand thing all the time. Yeah. I can't really go. answer that question properly because we don't yeah. really know why we think that. We just do. <laughs> I think maybe, yeah, I think maybe Drink to Drown changed the most. It kind of started with this, like, um, it kind of started with this, like, guitar. uh, It kind of was more like a guitar rocky vibe, and it kind of started with, like, a soft guitar, and it went into this, like, full band. It, like, changed so much. And then that became, like, a chilled-out version, and then that changed the piano, and then it became, like, a ballad. But then also, yeah, like Jono said, maybe Silk and Saturn, because that kind of changed a lot as well but the most times was probably drink to drown drink to drown changed the most times and silk to sun changed the most yeah. i would also like to That'd go down. throw in um soap because the chorus just took oh. so long that we kind of changed it like a million times um but yeah that's true we're just perfectionists okay so we just want to make the perfect album and that's what we did <laughs> That's weird. I was literally listening to the cut songs yesterday. That's so Yeah, random. me too. I was what listening the to the uh, the song. The song. The this one. I don't want to say the name. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. This one. Yeah, I know exactly Can't the see. one. You're too blurry. But anyway, um I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple I would this? like to rework <laughs> and maybe release later on. <laughs> definitely. Um but as for ones that I want to release yeah, as is, no. <laughs> I think a lot of ones from Sad Summer when, when Potter would just go into the pit and just start pitting with people. That's probably one of my... Fo- oh, <laughs> actually, no, I won't tell that story. <laughs> I was going to tell something. I can't tell it. Um, but, yeah, I think that was that's always just so fun to watch and it just makes me feel like... I don't know. It just makes me have fun. But um, I also think uh, when we... The last time we played London... Actually, it was the last show we played um, before COVID hit. Um, and we were in London with the main and for some reason that show was just the best and seeing the reaction was sick. Um, and actually I've got a few more things, but I don't want to make this too long. <laughs> Can I say uh, one more? We were playing Unify <laughs> and um, I said for everyone to get up on, on each other's shoulders and I saw this one dude his feet were in his mate's hands and he was just being held like that with his feet on some dude's hands. And I was like, what the fuck? I was brave. 
so brave. <laughs> Broth soup. Uh, creamy, because I can just eat yeah, my broth way out. <laughs> I'll go broth. No, you couldn't. Yeah, you could. Broth. <laughs> broth. Creamy is like, would be like so much harder. There's so much resistance to it. Yeah, but I like cream. I'll eat the whole thing. Fuck you. 